morning everyone I hope you're up and you have you're in good spirits today today we're going to be doing burpees but before we do burpees we're going to warm up with intermediate jumping jacks and before we do intermediate jumping jacks we're going to prepare for that by doing some normal jumping jacks so, ready feet together let's count 10 together and begin one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. Drop. Begin. Alright, so for intermediate jumping jacks, the legs do exactly the same thing. The arms are a little bit different, so let's isolate the legs. So hands move side, up, side, down. Side, up, side, down. I hope you're doing it with me. Side, up, side, and down. Good job. Now, if we add them together with the legs slowly, when the hands go out, we do side and open. Then we go up and close, side and open, down and close. Right? So the legs are just doing this, and it's the arms that are moving in this pattern. Right? Side and open, you have to say it with me. Up and close, side and open, down and close. One more time, side and open, up and close, side and open, down and close. And if you keep repeating that pattern in your head, you're going to get it very easily. Alright? So now, let's do it for 10. 10 count. 10 intermediate jumping jacks. Ready? And go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't give up. Five, keep trying. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Excellent. All right, so uh, let's stretch out just a little bit. You know, our circle to the neck. And the other way. And side to side like you're not sure. See, I'm trying to touch my shoulder with my ear, but I'm not moving my shoulder. And left to right, like you're saying no. And down and up like you're saying yes. I'm pressing my chin firmly against my chest when I look down. And I'm trying to point my chin to the sky when I look up. Alright, and shoulders, and backwards with your shoulders, and arms, rotate backwards, and hug yourself, show yourself some love, might be the only hug you get today, and elbows, elbows the other way, Brace. And the other way, and make waves. Wave the other way, and shake it up. Here we do hula hoops. And the other way, and we put our hands on our knees, and we put the hula hoop around our knees, and circle. Five, a little bit that way, and then the other way. And then, don't forget the ankles. Pull a hoop around your ankle. And the other way, if you can. If you cannot do this one, then you can just do this one. And circle both ways. And the other leg, here. And the other way, and of course, you can also just do this one. And if you lose your balance, just put your hand on the wall, on a table, a chair, or your brother and sister. Alright, shake them up. Alright, so to learn burpees, we need to practice first three things. We're going to learn how to hold our plank position with extended arms. And we're going to practice how to do kick outs. And we're going to practice how to do uh, jump squats. Alright? So if you have your yoga mat or something that, a towel or something that you can put on the floor, Go ahead and grab that, 
sip your water if you need to, and then come back and join us. All right, hope you had your water. Um, so we're going to start off with jump squats. Uh, so what you're going to do is, like the name implies, uh, let's start with squatting down here. Always squatting, it's important to keep your spine straight if I turn this way. Doesn't matter if you're on your toes or if you're flat footed, but you want to keep your back, you don't want to do this, right? So the rule of thumb is, if you're seeing the ground, you can look at the ground, it's not a, it's not a good position, right? So keep your back straight, and if I'm here, you're going to launch up into the air, like that. Those are your jump squats, all right? So, let's do 10 jump squats, all right? Don't forget to breathe out. When you're pushing, you have to exhale. And ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Take your legs out. If you did them right, you should be feeling it right here. It should be a little bit, just a little bit winded. All right? Next, we're going to practice how to do our kick out. All right? If you didn't get the jump squat right, just uh, rewind, go over the explanation, and you can do 10 more or as many as you like. All right? So now we're going to do kick outs. So kick outs are. From the squatting position, again, my back is straight, always, hands down, and I'm going to kick my legs out to the plank position, and back, all right? All right, so, we haven't done the plank position as yet, so I'm not going to elaborate on that now, we're just going to do the kick out, and then I'll come back and explain what plank should look like. So, try to keep your feet together, and of course, our lucky number is 10. So I'm going to the break. And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good job. Go. Alright, so I'm doing them a little bit fast. Uh, you cannot keep up, hit the pause button uh, and take your time. It's very important that you get the technique right. All right? So we don't want to get any injuries, no back pain, we want to be healthy. Well, this is the purpose of physical education, right? All right, now, plank. All right, guys, hope you got your water. Uh, so I'll break to get my my exercise mat because I'm going to be on the ground I want to show you guys how to make the proper plank position so there are two ways to make plank on the forearm and also on the palm of the hand so for today we're going to be doing the plank with straight arms all right get my mat out here all right. so I'm going to turn sideways because I want you guys to see My body to be straight, right? Flat. So, no hills and no valleys. These are hills, my hips sticking up, and this is a valley. So, hills and valleys are not allowed. Just straight plank, like, like, a, like a plank of wood. Wood. Like this. Right? Don't start to slouch, don't move, just try to. Remain right here in this position. Alright, so when you put it all together, the plant is not that very difficult. Alright? This is a mind over matter type of activity. So if you tell yourself that it hurts, oh I'm uncomfortable, then you're going to get more of what you're thinking about. So it's important here all right, to just focus uh, on your goal with the 10, 10 counts. We're trying to get to 10 counts and don't don't worry about the discomfort. So I tell the kids all the time, uh, think about ice cream, think about cake, think about things that you like, all right? Don't think about the pain or don't think about the discomfort. Ready? 10 count. And go. 10, 9, 
10 kongs was too easy for you, go ahead and extend it to 20, 30, or even a minute if you like. Alright? Now, we're going to combine everything. Alright, so now we've got all the elements, all the basic elements to create a burpee. Now we're going to bring them together. Alright? So I'll turn this way, just so you can get the side view, see what I'm doing. So some people start with the jump. Personally, I like to start with the squat and end with the jump. But uh, potato, potato, you can do what you like. All right. So burpee is squat down, keep your back straight, hands on the ground, kick out, plank, squat, and stand up and jump. All right. Let me turn this way. Once again, squat down, plank, bring it in, and jump. Alright, I'm going to do one time facing you, alright, squat down, plank, bring it back in, and jump, alright, so that's your basic burpee, so we're going to combine all of those elements, so we're going to create a rhythm, and of course our lucky number is 10, alright, as you feel yourself starting to get tired, starting to get a little bit winded, that's only because you're doing it right, ready? And let's go. So we're halfway, don't give up. Three more. Then, you made it all the way. Good job, give yourself a nice pat on the shoulder. And, deep breath. Start with your chest, with your tummy. All right. So, if you missed something, if you had to take a break, it's fine. Uh, you can do five, two sets of five, you can do five sets of two, three sets of three plus one. Whatever you want to do, just get to ten, and then you, you do this every day, and then sooner when, before you know it, you'll be able to go from zero to ten, no problem. All right? So now, just stretch. Right, left hand behind your head, pull. And lean into it. And back. Right hand behind your head. I know this is my left, but my left is your right. Behind your head. Pull. And lean. And back. Left hand across the front of everybody. Back it up your elbow. Pull it in tight. But this stretch, a lot of people do it wrongly. You want to make sure you're getting the stretch here and here. Cool. And the other side. Cool. Feel the stretch. Enjoy the stretch. Get out. Keep together. Straight leg, reach down and touch your toes. Uh, if you cannot touch your toes, you can touch your ankle. If you cannot reach your ankle, then you can reach your knees. Fine, doesn't matter. As long as you're feeling the stretch here in the hamstring and in the lower back. All right? Reach down. And then put your chin against your chest and curl your back up slowly. Alright. Do the part. Stand 
wide. Go ahead and reach down to the right side first. And change. I'm trying to put my forehead or my chin on my knee. And go ahead to the middle, reach through. Quadriceps a lot, so grab your instep, feel free to hold on to the wall or something. I have my imaginary wall, or my imaginary little brother. Make sure you're feeling the stretching here. Good job, on the other leg. Good to work out in the outdoors, I'm getting my vitamin D. And the sun's getting a little bit a little bit warmer. Hands up. And there you have it. Bring your hands together. Stay safe. Greet people with Namaste instead of taking hands. Namaste.